gosh, uh, social media is a huge, huge part of the way that we organize because um, we need to reach a mass audience to make uh, policy changes, to, to pressure people who normally wouldn't make the changes that we want to see, uh, make those changes. And uh, when it comes to traditional media, when you're trying to communicate something, it's filtered through a medium and the person who's controlling that medium, and then to the audience who's receiving that message. And that can sometimes be like a game of broken telephone. So what we've done is created our own media through social media so that we can make sure that at least on our side, the communication that we're putting out there is exactly the way that we want to do it. And we've been really successful in that. We're really happy. The burden is really on all of us to, if we're going to really try to change society. And, uh, you know, I think that white folks have a lot of work to do in their communities. And if you look at the political um, environment we find ourselves in in this world today, white supremacy is on the rise, like violent white supremacy is on the rise. We, you know, uh, white folks are going to be so much more effective at talking to one another about that issue and changing what's going on within, um, within that subculture. Uh, and I don't need to, I, I don't want to waste my time focusing on that when I have so many things to focus on within my own community.